Hello support team, this is Tim McKide with a short video to help you to log into the support team after you've paid for it. And I hate that some people are having trouble because uh, I'm using WordPress for this private membership group that I call the support team. And it's got a little bit of a different approach to password management and password resetting. It doesn't send you a password uh, a temporary password or even that it sends you a registration link when you lose your password and you have to go through you have to go do two extra steps as you'll see um, different than what you're probably used to with your email account when you reset that or your Facebook account when you reset that so let me show you how to do it so uh, there's no mistaking the process and you can get in and access the articles so you go to the website escape all these things .com, as you can see and from the menu you go to of course support content if you're logged in you can go there and you're all set but obviously we're talking about a situation where you're not logged in you don't know your password or you're having trouble logging in even with the password you think it is so in either case you need to get to the login page so I'm clicking this link here so it's wordpress login.php and I'm going to use test user and here I go, I'm going to type in my password. And always click Remember Me so that if you do get it in, you don't have to go through the step again the next time you visit the site tomorrow or in a week or even a month. I think it keeps you logged in for several weeks. So I click Log In, and of course, it's going to say my password is wrong. So I don't save this one because it was wrong. So at this point, you want to do lost your password. And if you already knew you lost your password, you can just click this link directly right here. So lost my password. And now I'm going to type in my username. It's not very intelligent. As you can see, it didn't fill it in for me. And get my password. And that's, that's a misnomer. You're not going to get a new password. You're going to get a link. So it says check your email for your confirmation link. Now, which email do you check? That's the question. You may have multiple emails and the one that you thought you used for signing up for the sport team is not the one you actually use. So please be sure to check all of your emails, all of your accounts, because the emails do go through. They do arrive someplace. Okay, so let's go to my account. You see, I have an email here, a new email. And what do you know? It's it's from WordPress, Escape All These Things, Password Reset. Now, if I didn't have that there, I implore you to go to the spam folder. And there's just a bunch of spam there. It's time to clean that up anyway. So if you don't see it in your inbox, please go to your spam folder. I've had that happen to several people already. They keep saying, I can't log in. I don't get my password. And I said, check your spam folder. And there it is. All right. So make sure you check there. Because the emails do arrive someplace. They either arrive in a different email or they arrive to your email, but not your inbox. They arrive to your spam folder. So that's so key. So I'm going to make, I see it in my inbox. I'm going to open up this email. And you see someone has requested a password reset for the following account, test user. If this was a mistake, you could ignore it. Otherwise, to reset your password, visit this address. So it's a special. You know, look at this long code. It's got this, you know, this encoded information for login of test user that validates that it's legit. So I'm going to, I don't want to reply. I want to open that there. So I'll go to my new tab. And you will see it come up. Enter your new password below. Now this, this is where it gets confusing. Here it is. It gives you a auto-generated strong password if you just click into it. Very confusing. You didn't request for that. It says new password. It looks like it's already done, but it's not until you reset password. Anyway, what I want to do is copy this before I do that. And by the way, I recommend you go with the generated password because it's strong. It's not something you're going to be able to write down and type in easily, but you'll see when we log in that you don't have to enter this again. Um, watch what happens. So reset password and look at this. 
Firefox is offering to save this for me. Now, here's a tricky thing. It didn't, it didn't fill in the username because this page um, didn't have a place for the username. So we can skip it for now. Well, let me see. If, if I type in test user, I think this will work. Show password, whatever. Save. Now if I log in, and maybe we'll be lucky and we'll fill it in. Yeah. So there it is, test user. It filled it in. Now if I didn't manage to do that. I already copied the clipboard. I can paste it with Control C to copy, Control V to paste with Windows. That's how you do that. Or I can just do this. Say it's not filled in. I could do paste because I I, I, did, I had this. I didn't, probably didn't tell you, but I always copy the password to the clipboard with Control C. Okay, so I can paste it. But either way, it's it's here. So, you know, I could, it's gonna fill it in Firefox. So my point is, if you check, if you tell Firefox to save the password, and you use Remember Me. After you reset your password, you really reset it by clicking that button. Now I will be able to log in. No problem. And so here, to, here I am I'm in the right place. The member content, only for members. And you can see all the, the content listed from the oldest to newest. And here if you want to change your password at any time, once you're logged in, even if you have to use the generated password like I did, that's okay because you can change it in here to something that you prefer that's more memorable. But please, please do something strong. And it's not easy to get something strong. It's not showing the password. I mean, I could type all this random things. It still says weak. So it's 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 a tricky thing to come up with a good strong password. So I recommend you let it create it for you. So that's it. And. So the key take home of this is to please check all your emails. Please check your spam folders. The links do get sent. Save your password to the clipboard and instead put it in a document on your desktop. Or better yet, have your browser save the password. Chrome will do that. Firefox will do that. Okay. And then I can leave the site. I can go to escapealltheseings.com again. And you will see if we go to the menu that support of content, not the support team this time. I don't need to log in. I'm going to be already logged in. So I want to go right to the content. And there it is. I'm still logged in, okay, because of the cookie. And because I picked Remember Me. So that's it. I am, I'm sorry that it's complicated, but I think this video is going to decomplicate it for you. And you will be able to get past these hurdles of passwords and and uh, emails and spam folders and, and be able to get to this content that you paid for. So I really appreciate your patience with this issue. I'm sorry that WordPress is so hard. I think down the road they're going to have to address this issue. And they probably made it so hard because of all the people that spam WordPress. You know, they, they hack it and try to get into it because it's so popular. Like a third of the websites in, in the internet are WordPress. So it's a very rich target and they had to make it strong. So, of course, we all suffer for that because of all the, the bad apples doing the hacking on the websites. So uh, anyway, I'll, I'll end right here. If you have any comments in this video or questions, you can put them in there and I'll see them in the YouTube comment section. And you can also email me. And if this video is still not clear enough, I'll make another one. No problem. And, uh, and, uh, anything to help you guys get what you paid for. So I appreciate your support. God bless you all and see you inside the support team.